Hello, Timmy Napso here, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of Fortis Pay. We're discussing Square, the credit card processing technology, and their recent rate reduction. So the news came out with Square reducing its rates. It went from 2.75% flat for swipe transactions down to 2.60 and 10 cents. Now, uh, number one, really important to note, they did not change their 3.5% and 15 cent non present transaction. So that has not changed. This is only something that happens in the face-to-face -face environment. So when you're in the face-to-face -face environment, you previously would swipe with Square for every hundred dollars that you would run, you would pay two dollars and seventy-five cents. Now they've reduced that for a hundred dollars to two point six and ten cents. So it sounds like a better deal, right? But let's talk about how this can affect you and your business. What Square has recognized is in the small ticket world of business, right? Coffee shops, uh, dollar stores, um, the, 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 even the peer-to-peer -peer market where you owe somebody $4 or $6 or you're paying for lunch, $8, right? That there's something that actually gets charged to Square and to all credit card processors across the country called interchange. And what that is, is that's what the card brands collect, Visa, MasterCard, the banks, so on and so forth. And what Square has actually done, although they've marketed this really cool, you dropped your price, it's actually hurt a large segment of the business. So we have to, we have to actually have to ask the question, why would Square just lower their rates? Is it to be more competitive or is it to protect their investors? So really quickly here, we're gonna do a quick math equation, right? If you were a business, a coffee shop that charges an average of $2 for every coffee that you sell, and you run $10,000 in transactions or in volume per month. So $10,000 is your total volume. Every single time you run a transaction, it's $2. That means that you ran 5,000 transactions at $2 to come up with this $10,000 total volume number for the month. Previously, you would pay 2.75% flat. Great. Now what they did is they say, we drop you to 2.60%, which is 0.15% less or 15 basis points less, but they added 10 cents, which is $500 per month more to your business. Net effect, you're paying $485 more per month if you, if you have an average ticket of only $2. If your average ticket is only $1, that number doubles, right? If, and so on and so forth, right? If even if it increases, it'll drop a little bit from there, but you can obviously run, run the math and we would be happy to help you with your business look at that. But what's very important to actually focus on here is if you see something drop in any industry, right, as it relates to price, we have to ask the question, why? Why as business owners, why is the general public would Square say, we're gonna actually drop our pricing? And the answer is, it's not truly dropped. It does help some industries quite a bit, the higher ticket ones, but if you're in the world of Square, which typically results in smaller tickets, is what we see from the Square model, it certainly is hurting you and helping Square. Please comment below and thanks for listening.